Good morning, everybody. Come on in. Hope y'all have a God blessed Thursday morning. I'm up and at it relatively early to be getting out. I um uh, I'm getting ready to go um do a good deed for the day. And in doing so, I'm taking food. So what I'm doing this morning is I'm prepping, I'm getting ready to do a nice salad. These are the fixings for a good old garden salad. It's got some avocado, some tomatoes, peppers, and I'm not gonna put any onions on it. Now this here is uh, being prepped for a stir fried sausage to go over some rice for later on to leave here at the house. So I got peppers, onions, sausage that I'm gonna be doing. Now when I come back, I'll probably clean up some mushrooms to throw in there. So that's my prep work for that. All I gotta do with my sausage is slice. Like I told you, for cooking, once you get all this done, I see when I get back, all I got to do is throw it in the pan and stir fry. Now that I got my veggies all prepped, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and put this salad together. Now, because I don't have any bowls to take out of here that I never get back a lot of times, I'm going to go ahead. I've got this bag of chopped salad from Sam's Club. So I'm going to go ahead and just put me about three cups of, of that chopped salad on the plate and make a nice big old salad. Now this salad will work twice for who I'm taking for. This is, that's a two meal salad. And guess what else I got y'all? See, don't discount your leftovers. This is some leftover broccoli casserole. So that's a nice little broccoli casserole. Two people could really get off of it. So I'm gonna uh, be taking that. So a broccoli casserole and a nice garden vegetable salad will serve as a good meal for someone. So that's what I'm going to do. So now, real simple, I'm just gonna take all of my uh, veggies and just take my little thing here and mix all these veggies in with, the, I'm not gonna mix the tomatoes in. You know, tomatoes tend to get a little soggy, so I'm sort of place those tomatoes around the edge of the uh, salad, so. Got our peppers on. Isn't that pretty? That is a nice, pretty salad. That's one of them $8 salads that you have to pay for at Zaxby's, I think, or wherever those places are. Anyway, that's a nice, healthy salad. That we to go with. So I'm gonna go ahead now. I got my avocado all cut open. So I'm gonna go ahead, you know, you really basically just spoon that avocado out of there. So I'm gonna cut it. You know what, we're in on the cooking show, so we don't have to have precise measurement cuts. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop that avocado on there as well. And when they get ready to eat it, they can mix it all around. We're going to put a whole avocado. This is a nice, good one, too. All that nice avocado on there. Uh, I hope y'all got something good going on. And listen, for you all who are in these areas where, where the weather is still hot still be mindful of this heat uh today because it's still hot i can tell it's, i looked at my phone this morning already at seven it was at 75 degrees i don't know i think it's going in the 90s today so we're not getting that 100 degree weather but still we have to be careful about being outside uh you know stay hydrated you know dress cool and all that kind of good stuff and, and don't be out in if you don't have to be. I've got to uh, do some stuff today. And if I didn't have to do those things today, I would not be out in it. I really would not. Seriously. So, uh, suffice it to say, I'm only going out because I have to go out. I, you know, I, I have to go do what I got to go do this morning. Uh, and hopefully we'll be back in before too long. Okay, now, so we got that salad going. We're gonna go ahead and get some tomatoes. I'm gonna basically put them, just like I said, I'm gonna set them around here like so. Well, I didn't cut them all the way through, did I? Well, get them cut. And we're just gonna see, we're not gonna like mix them per se, we just sort of set them around, make it look pretty. You know, tomatoes that look pretty bright red, just, okay. There we are. Pretty much, that's the salad. So now, what I always put on my salad to pump up that flavor, I've got this um, 
little cilantro lime seasoning that I sprinkle on top of it. Sprinkle it, sprinkle it. I want to get under that, so I'm going to have to do that. Okay. So we just sprinkle. Like so. And then all you have to do with this now is go ahead and put you some uh, salad dressing on there. And voila, you got your beautiful, wonderful tasting fresh garlic sap. I'm garlic. Because you know I want to put garlic on it, but I'm going to resist it. I'm not going to put any garlic. So there's your salad. There's your um, broccoli casserole. I'm, I'm telling you, this is still frozen, but I'm going to uh, put it on this little plate here. Let me go ahead and do this, y'all. Um, right there. There we are. So we're just going to lay it right there. And that, that's a nice meal, y'all. Just look at that. I would love to sit down and partake of that. But this is a, a care package with the love that I'm taking out of here. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm uh, going to be getting out of here shortly. So that's why I'm sort of going through this quickly. But this is what you can do with leftovers. Again, this is about what you can do with leftovers. What you can do when you need to take someone um, a, a little quick care package, things like this, that you can do very quickly with inside of 30 minutes. So there's that beautiful garden salad with avocado, tomatoes, and uh, two kinds of green peppers and the confetti peppers. And of course, there's that good old honey. That was some good broccoli casserole. And you know this this is a love meal because I always I love to leave my broccoli casserole in the freezer for about uh, three weeks, and I'm telling you that flavor is real good then. And of course, this is what I have prepped for later on for Kareem and I for dinner. So we're gonna uh, get out of here in a few minutes, but I just want to come your way and say, hey, I know I haven't been uploading. My camera situation is. Hopefully getting better. I got to get to the Apple store with my phone. I, I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know what I've done. I'll figure it out. But anywho, and be careful out there today. If you got to be out here in that weather, be very, very careful uh, where you go, what you're doing, how you're dressing, stay hydrated, all that good stuff. And if you got children, don't let them babies be out there in this heat because it's just too, too much for them on today. Okay? Okay, let's get the rest of this food going. Even though it's the next day, once I got that salad done, I already had some leftovers. I decided, well, why not wait until Friday? So here we are. Happy Friday, y'all. Hope y'all having a God bless Friday. So we're just picking up where we left off. I got my bell peppers, my onions, my confetti peppers, garlic, and some beef sausage. I'm just going to do a big old stir fry. I already got some uh, rice steamed up over here, so got my olive oil and my smart start in the pan. Well, I got smart start in the pan. I'm going to start this out with them. I'm going to stir fry it. Then I'm going to add some olive oil. So this is, you know, uh, a sausage and veggie skillet is always good. You can't miss with this one. You know what? I got all these different foods cooked up here. I forgot I had ordered two chicken dinner plates from uh, my neighbors who was selling plates. So I got all that done. Then I did some garlic chicken yesterday that I didn't record. So look, I won't have to cook no more till Sunday, y'all. And I'm not going to, um, because I don't like, y'all, I told y'all many times, I do not like to waste food. So I'm gonna have this stir fry here, but that's good. I, I'm, I feel like I'm ahead of the game when I get dishes like this. So people stop by, want something to eat, wonderful. I can go ahead and fix the nice plate. This is my good old seasoned jasmine rice. Isn't that rice look good? Already done. I'm gonna tell you, this seasoning here, this the one that I just bought from TJ Maxx, it's called Honey Alapo Pepper. And it has honey in it, it has peppers, 
garlic. It is wonderful. They only had one jar, so I bought the only jar they had. I'm going to sprinkle some right over the top of here. Stir fry. And I've got some sprinkled on my uh, rice. So it's going to give it a little kick, too. So you will give it extra flavor. You know, there we go. The flavor train. So I'm going to put me a couple tablespoons of my polyphenol rich olive oil. Y'all know this one. I can only use a few drips of this. This is the real deal Dr. Gundy olive oil. This is how I get my fix for that. Okay. Now, I'm going to let that saute. And when it gets done saute, it'll be ready to serve over top of the rice. Um, again, we got olive, not olive, olive oil, green peppers, confetti peppers, fresh garlic, and of course we got the sausage in. So that, this is something that's good to go on top of rice. And again, like I said, we got, I've got all this other food. I'll let y'all see what I purchased. Um, I don't think I bought a plate like that from anybody in a long, long time, but anyway. I'm trusting it's going to be good, so I'm going to put everything but the kitchen sink, see you about a teaspoon of that in there, a couple of teaspoons rather, yep, uh, and I'm going to put some of my uh, oh, I like these aromatic seasons, my especial, especial. Let me say it right. Especias del Sol. Half a teaspoon of that in there. It, it already has some cumin. It already has uh, curry, powder, and cumin. So. Oh. Ooh, I wish I could smell what I'm smelling. It smells so wonderful, y'all. So I'm just going to let that stir fry until it gets ready. This takes, I, I'm going to cook this probably for about 12 to 15 minutes and it should be ready. And just sort of spread it around the sides there and let it continue to cook. So while we're cooking, let's just talk a little bit about uh, the weather. We're still praying for people who are in the uh, line of that weather that's coming up uh, from the coast, I suppose. Coming up uh, the eastern seaboard, coming up that way. Um, I understand that yesterday or the day before, I'm not sure which, um, there was a storm that came through that hit a town called Rocky Mount, which is within uh, 30 minutes from here, and it tore up some areas. So we're praying for those families and those uh, people up in there. So if you got family and friends in those areas, we're praying that all is well with them. I understand, uh, I think it was a, the Pfizer company, uh, no, I'm, I hate to even say the name of it because I'm not sure. I did not look at any news yesterday, so I'm not quite up on it. But I do want to take the time because so God knows what happened. So we just, I just want to take the time in Jesus' name and pray that uh, those people in that area came through. I did know one individual that lived there and contact was made, and she said she didn't get any damage, but the uh, damaged areas were close by where she lived. So we thank God that she didn't get infected by that. Um, and we're just going to continue to lift those individuals up, uh, that they'll continue to do well and weather the storm. Uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you, this, this is tornado season. So that tornado, as I'm told, hit so hard and so fast, people didn't have a chance to really respond to it. So I'm hoping and praying that uh, everything will be okay in the days to come. Now, I do know here where I live, like I'm about 30 miles and, and 30 minutes away from that, and I could feel the heavy thunder, but we didn't get any damage here. Um, I'm looking for my lid, y'all. I'm just going to cover that for a minute, just so all those seasons can go through that. Get everything all mixed in together. 
and I can even lower the heat a little bit because I want a little bit. I want my olive oil left over in there because I need that to go through my rice. So I'm going to cover it a little bit. Just lower the heat on it. And let it simmer in there for a minute or two. But as I was saying, we just continue to pray for those families and friends that we have in those areas that we affected by that storm. And um, mm, that one, mm, that's good. That's some good sausage. Mm. Mm. Now, excuse me, man. Mm. <clears throat> Ooh, that looks real good. So that's going to be good over top of that rice. But anyway, um, let us just uh, be mindful and continue to pray without ceasing for all things. Like I said, there's always something to pray about. Uh, and then there's also, well, for me anyway, there's things that we can be joyful about in life. I got a new joy in my life. As I was telling you, I got a brand new grandbaby girl she is so precious and so sweet i i will try to get a little picture of her uh, this baby four pounds ten ounces karan's baby he sent me a picture of her in some kind of way i have got to get that picture up so y'all can see her she is smiling uh like she was five or six years old i mean grinning prettiest little dimples prettiest little color and she's a tiny little thing but she doesn't look that tiny uh when she had her eyes open, eyes were wide open. She was reaching, sucking on her daddy's fingers, sucking on that nipple. Like she had been here and knew what to do. Uh, just wide awake. I'm just so amazed at how these newborn babies, and I've seen these uh, TikTok things about these newborn babies coming up so so wise and so, so vibrant. Look, I remember when I was having children. Child, please. We couldn't come out the house for a month. And the babies, Lord Jesus, I forget I don't tell how long the poor babies had to stay in. But the babies were not just not that alert. It's gotta be the meds that are used, I guess, or whatever, I don't know. But these babies come out now, they're ready for the world. And I thank God for it. I welcome. Um, and y'all know her name is I'm not gonna even say the name. I, I ain't gonna even mess it up like that. But here's a little funny little thing. I asked Karan, I might have said it in the beginning of the video, but I asked Karan what uh, they were going to name her. So at the time, he did not know. And he kept him all in the run. So I said, boy, y'all name that baby Peggy with I-E on it, like my name. I said, go ahead and call her Peggy, and y'all, I'll let y'all pick the middle name. Just name her Peggy. So we just got a good laugh off of that. The next day I talked to him. Uh, Karan, what's the baby? Have y'all named? No, ma'am, we haven't got together on, got the name of y'all. So, all right, now, y'all need to call her Peggy. So, by the time he sent me the pictures of that baby laying there with them hands up, sucking on that, on that boy's finger like that and grabbing at that little pacifier, I said, you know what? I'm going to give her a name. I call her Little P. So, when y'all hear me talking about Little P, that's, uh, Karan's a little baby girl, so her nickname officially is Little P. So that's gonna be my name for her, Little P. That's what I always know her as. So anyway, it's just fun and exciting to bring a new life into the world, and at the same time, it's sort of frightening because of the things that go on in this world. But we're gonna pray her in. We ushering her in that her up steps will be ordered by the Lord, and that she will live on the secret place of the Most High and be protected from the wiles of the world. And we're going to pray for her and keep her uplifted right along with all the other children in this world. So, uh, y'all rejoice with me. I got me another grandbaby girl. And I am just ever so excited. Ever so excited. So, y'all pray. Continue to pray for her as I pray for you and your children. Okay, now... This sausage deal is just about ready. Oh, wow, well, look at it now. See, I got to let, let it cook down. It's been cooking, what, almost 10 minutes. So we know that 12 to 15 minutes is a great pen. I can see my olive oil in there. That is great because that's what's going to 
help to marinate that rice when we get ready to serve it. So, there it is. I'm going to put the lid over it. And we're done there. The rice is already done. This is going to be our food for the day. I've got some... Um, I've got some sliced cucumbers, tomatoes, and onions already prepared that I ate with the meal from yesterday, so I cut up plenty, so that is going to be our veggie. So that's what we're going to do for today. And then on top of that, I ordered all that, those plate, our two plates today. Know, the traditional plate, the barbecue chicken and some uh, macaroni and cheese and cabbage. This is grilled chicken. It's really very good because it came right off the grill, y'all. So that's, we got two plates of that sitting around here. So I might have to just stick those in the fridge and heat them up later. Now, if all the kids come through here, if all my children come through, honey, it ain't going to go to waste. <laughs> Trust me, it will not go to waste. So I tell God, thank you. Thank y'all for stopping by. Thank you for your well wishes, your prayers, your congratulatory uh, comments about my new baby. In fact, you know, I got uh, Tania's baby boy is now, what, one month old. So those two little ones got me a new baby boy, a new baby girl. So, and you know, it's amazing how, especially within a family, how children look alike. They, they look both of those two babies look just like Norik looked when he was a little bitty baby like that and I thought how amazing and then when you look at um look back through both of them and how my husband how they favor him you know most babies when they're born they're fair skin my husband was very fair skinned but I know these babies looking at their little ears they're gonna be a little bit more chocolate so anywho y'all I'm done with this meal uh, thank y'all for stopping by. I'm going to just let y'all see that this meal is ready. And all we got to do here is serve it. There's the rice. See, I mixed some of that new season into that rice. And, of course, there is the uh, veggie skillet, that is the sausage and veggie skillet that's going to be on top of it. So, listen, thank y'all for stopping by. Thank you for your prayers, your well wishes, your comments and compliments. And please, 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 whatever you do, Continue to pray for those uh, individuals who have been um, affected by the storm. So until I decide to cook again, pray without ceasing. Now keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down. Do something kind for somebody, uh, a word, a deed, a cash out, whatever. Until I decide to cook again, y'all love your toodles.